Hi everyone, this is Tom from Print Kitchen and uh, this is one of our tutorial videos looking at the, the bits and bobs that come in your print kit. So today we're going to be looking at the use of this polystyrene. This is clever stuff because it means you can have a go at printing using nothing but pencils. You don't need any cutting tools. So we've got some sharp pencils and blunt pencils. Now the first thing to remember uh, about printing is whatever your medium is, whether you're using lino, wood, plastic for engraving, using foam or polystyrene like this, is your final picture will be a mirror image of what you print. Um, we're going to use my name as an example for this. So you want a nice sharp pencil to get nice clean lines. If you use the very tip, the point of the pencil to, to practice some nice straight lines. Don't go too quickly. If, you're, if you have the pencil too low, you'll tear it like I have here as you go through. If you're too flat, you can see that it's digging in and then the, uh, the pencil sort of gouges out. It's very easy to pierce this. So just gently, with the tip of the pencil, less is more. You could always go down again. You can make your lines deeper and wider. As soon as you, you, you gouge it, you're scooping bits out. It's very hard to put these little bits back in, really. So now on to our example. Here I'm going with my name. I've written it on a piece of paper. And then I've copied that and written it backwards. You know, you might need to you can look in a mirror if you want to. Use tracing paper. So I'm not going too deep in that. Now the S is going to be the tricky bit. And also you can make any marks you like in this. You can do your lines, thin lines like this. You can use the blunt pencil for much thicker lines. Or to simply push down areas. You don't want to, you can use the back end of the pencil to squash the lino down. Now any areas you press down, if you use whichever tool you use, whichever pencil, the compressed areas, the bits you squish or cut, they will come out as white space. Whatever coloured paper you use will come through these spaces. It's this raised polystyrene that's left that will take up the ink. You can draw straight onto the polystyrene like this. You can draw anything you like. See that. I'll show you in another video how this comes out. You can see I'm just using the tip of the pencil. Remember, less is more to start with. You can always deepen your lines if you need to. It's impossible to undo what you've done here. You can see I've just taken the pencil through there. So that's phase one, or option one, I should say. Now we're going to look at something slightly different. Now I've traced my grumpy face here and put it in a bit of a border it's using standard tracing paper and a soft pencil. I use a, a 6B. Draw your picture the correct way round. And then if you turn it over onto your lino, I just use the, the side of the point of the pencil. You don't want to go straight down perpendicular. You don't want to go point down because it's quite easy to, to pierce. But as we colour over our lines, hopefully you get a bit of a guideline come out. 
onto the graphite will come off the tracing paper onto the polystyrene. It'll be a guide for cutting with the pencils. This is how we work with lino when we, before we use our sharp cutting tools on the lino. We draw or transfer like this and then use Sharpie, something like that to draw the lines onto the lino. Remember the, the picture on whichever printing medium you're using, whether you're having a go at lino printing or whether you're using the polystyrene from your kit here, your image will be reversed, it'll be mirrored, which is what you want. Just mess with your mind a little bit sometimes, especially if you're using text. I'm doing this very quickly, so I'm not waiting too long. There you are, we have a faint outline there. So if you don't feel confident to draw straight onto the polystyrene, you can do this. And then as we did with the, the earlier example, with the small one with the Thomas, using the point of your, your pencil, you can then start making your marks. So in this eye here, I want to compress all the, the white of the eye I want that to come out white in the picture. Of the eye. My eye bags, I'm quite tired at the moment. Homeschool and work, so get some eye bags under there. There we go. A few dots for some texture. Some smile lines, I'm a very happy person. Smile lines, we don't say wrinkled. Remember, like we said with the, the smaller piece, I'll practice one. Don't go too deep too quickly. Give me your rolls. Now for the hair, you can have a bit of fun with that. Try and get some different weighted lines in there. Again, tash you want some a few flicks in there, a few crossovers. I'll go to the blunt pencil a little bit. Compress some of the area so you get less ink coverage there. Again, just to create texture. I'm not going to push all of the moustache down. Obviously, I want some of the ink to take, so I'm just doing some choppy lines, a few prods and pokes here. A few spots get some texture in the lip as well. See how that comes out. Blunt pencil for some heavier hairlines here. And on this border, I'm not going to be too strict on the, the border really. I just want to uh, just use this, this line here as a guide. Let's finish his eye there. I can use the 
flat end of the pencil. Just use the yellow line in our guide. Turn that around, turn it around. Move your polystyrene around, whatever printing medium you're using, if you're using polystyrene or lino, move it around so you're not having to twist your arm. You can't draw and cut properly upside down, so move move the plate around, move the polystyrene around, turn it about, get involved in it. And there we have Thomas's grumpy face. The points to remember, remember your picture will be mirrored, which ever way, if you want words to come out the right way around, if you're doing your name or something like that, to go backwards so it will print the right way round. I've got an example here of a little one we did earlier. You can see here uh, this is a scary dinosaur come lizard. We've got the sun, the clouds, a few plants down here. We've done a few stabs and prods. You can see on the lino, great big teeth, his face is facing that direction. But as you print, your, your print will come off mirrored. It goes on, and as you undo, it prints the other way around. So I hope that's helpful. If you send us a message, comment on the videos. If you've got questions or you'd like us to uh, show you anything else in video form regarding the use of the polystyrene. But, uh, first of all, I hope you have fun with that. I look at the other videos for use of the dabbers and the ink and also the foam from the kit too.